Okay, hello, um, welcome to our Google Hangout. I'm Heather and this is Lauren. Uh, Lauren's playing squash for England um, and has joined us today representing the Dame Kelly Holmes uh, Trust, who we've been working with to create the Ready Steady Grass Games, which goes along with the Commonwealth Games in Scotland this summer. Um, if you've got any questions, um, send them in to us on Twitter. Uh, at Girl Guiding or through our Facebook page as well, uh, and I'll see if I can ask them to Lauren for you. Um, so, just to make it start, how did you get into squash? Um, hello, hello everybody. Um, my Well, I first got into squash when I was uh, nine years old. My parents used to play, and we used to go down to the local squash club for the Sunday evening, and um, I used to play with my mum and my dad and my sister. and. Um, it got to a point where I used to play my dad frequently, and then when I finally beat him, he retired. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it was. Uh, it's always been in the family playing squash. Okay. Cool. So, what's your your biggest achievement? Do you think? Um, my, since I've started, my biggest one of my biggest achievements was uh, breaking into the top twenty for the first time in the world. Um, that was a, a goal I've been aiming for for a while. Um, another achievement was um, I, I beat the number three in the world, um, for one and three in the world, so that was definitely a good day. That was, <laughs> When I came off from that match, I was very happy. <laughs> <I bet. laughs> yeah. So was that playing just in England? No, that was, yeah, that was across the world. Um, I travelled to America for that tournament, and um, it was... It was in the bitter winter, so and America has very, very cold winters, uh, and it was just, it was just a phenomenal day. It was absolutely wonderful. So. Were you there on your own? Or were you with other people? I was on my own as an individual competitor. It was um, a tournament set up by uh, our association, and um, so you go. It's very, very similar to the tennis tour, the squash tour, and you just play whole tournaments all around the world, and you go, you compete individually more often than not, and then, uh, yeah, so it was it was great fun. Good. Sounds like it was, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, um, so what, what did it feel like to represent England? Um, playing as an England representative is, is great. I mean, obviously I'm quite patriotic. Um, being involved in sport makes you even more so, I think, you know, maybe it's just that little bit of doing it, not just for yourself, but you're doing it for other people as well. Um, and it's, especially as a junior, when I played in the World Junior Championships, we won uh, the World Junior Championships as a team. So having that feeling, it was, it was, uh, it's something I, it's definitely something I'll always remember for the rest of my life. I was so very proud. Um, so what, people that are always looking to get into sport, what advice would you give girls who are trying to get into any sport, not just squash, but squash especially? And, uh, I would say for any girl, get involved in any single sport. It's it's just a joy to be in the sport and to you meet so many new people, um, you get fit in the process and you know you build confidence and you find out a lot about yourself, you learn a lot about yourself and, and you meet so many different people. I was very fortunate that I got to travel around the world doing something I adore, uh, so I was very lucky. And I've just met so many people that I never would have met if I hadn't played squash. <laughs> and what about uh, where could they go? Do you live anywhere? <laughs> Perhaps um, with their community groups, that kind of thing. Or does the Dane Cahoos trust the museums in local areas? Um, as for squash, I know, <laughs> or any sports, yeah, there will always be um, some form of coaching set up for, for any kind of sport. If you, I think, you contact your local um, councils, they will have all the information about uh, groups coaching and individuals coaching. And I just recommend girls highly get involved in sports so much fun. Okay. Um, so through the Ready Steady Glasgow are so looking at getting yes. started on new sports um, and, and potentially fundraising for the Inclusion Trust. Um, so how did you get involved with the Inclusion Trust? Um, it was a little bit by chance actually. Um, I moved to Amsterdam to continue my training as a professional squash player and um, I was going through a little bit of um, indecision in whether to continue playing or not. 
And I was speaking to a very good friend of mine who was still living back here, and she was looking through the newspaper and came across an article about Kelly Holmes, and she knew that I would admired and respected Kelly Holmes for forever. And um, just out of the blue, this little letter turned up in my post box in Amsterdam, and it was about the Kelly Holmes Trust. And uh, and it was something I thought, oh, well, I'll explore that when I get back to England. So about a month later, I came back to England and um, contacted the you know, Kelly Arms Trust. And they agreed to take me on as one of their athlete mentors. And uh, it's been going great ever since then. And so as part of that, you were at Celebrate at Alexander Palace? I was. I was, allowed, uh, I was allowed to engage with some of the uh, young girls there. And it was great. We did a little uh, 10... 20 meters sprint challenge as part of the Ready Steady Glasgow, and it was just, it was phenomenal. I mean, I've never seen that many young girls having such a good time. It was, it was so inspiring to see just the community. It was just phenomenal. It was really great. There's so many people there. Yeah, yeah. I know there's a guy who had to Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, for that many girls to be there, you know, and to want to take part in challenges as well. It was great. <laughs> were, were the girls really willing to get involved? Or? They were. They were. It was um, more at the beginning. It was a little bit, I think, a bit of lack of confidence. But once they gained their confidence in doing the challenge, and then the friends came along, and okay. it was yeah, lots of people taking part. And there was more often than not, there were the same girls coming through, and then you know another group, and then the young groups and. It was great, yeah. So bring a friend and do the sport. Bring a friend and do the sport, and yeah, exactly. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what does the what does thing called the Trust do? You've kind of explained it, but... Um, the, yeah, so the uh, Kelly Holmes Trust is um, a trust set up to reach disadvantaged young, young people, um, not in education, employment, or training. And as athletes, we're um, sent as mentors to these... Uh, disadvantaged youth and through our experience and hopefully we can inspire them you know and uh, sort of give them a little bit of mentoring along the way and, and just be there for them really and um, I've had some experiences with some of the young young girls especially on a, a, a sport for change program we do um, and it's just so inspiring as a as an athlete myself to see these these young girls who are struggling um, and then come to you at the end of the week and tell you that you've actually made a difference in their life. It's, it, it's such a great moment. It's fantastic to be to feel like you can give something to somebody. We're called the Give Back Team and when that happens you really feel like you've given something back. It's great. Oh. That sounds really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so part of the Ready Steady Glasgow uh, resources to, to raise some money for, for the trust. What will that money do? How will it help? Um, the funds raised by um, the resource will help us to keep engaging with these disadvantaged youth and to keep the programs running. Um, you know, the, there's so many people uh, between 16 and 25 that aren't in education, employment, or training, and with these programs we can reach them and we can hopefully make a difference in their lives. Um, okay, <laughs> so in, have, you, have you had a look through? I have um, had a look through. Um, is there one particular challenge you would like to have yet? Um, well, I'm going to take the easy option. <laughs> <laughs> and as a racket player, so I'm going to do the rang round, which is um, as keeping uh, as many shots going in a badminton rally as you possibly can. Although it's a different sport, I'm going to go for the rang round. And yours was? Uh, mine was the, the super shoot, the netball one. The so netball. having everybody lined up uh, and passing the ball between you and, and shooting. Uh, is it the goal in netball? Yes. It is <laughs> goal in netball, yes. <laughs> so everybody do all of the challenges because yeah. there's lots to try and I recommend trying all of them. They do look really, really good. I, I, I want to do them. <laughs> yeah, and I just think there's so many different, not only obviously the champion part of it, but you know, all the others as well. Yeah. The, Cooking, the baking, the the Commonwealth. Learning about the Commonwealth, yeah. obviously with the Commonwealth Games coming up. Um, it's very, yeah, it's very of the moment to get involved. And you know, what better way to get involved than breaking through the glass? I had to look through, and there was things you can learn about Scotland and try haggis. 
something I've never done, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. Oh. Maybe I won't be trying haggis. Apparently there's vegetarian haggis you can try now. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same. No. No. <laughs> No, so uh, but I think it's it looks like a, a fantastic badge. It's a, a you know great resource for I think the unions to the unions to take on. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. Have there been any questions? Have a look. And we just want to select any questions. So what are these? Oh, um, so we haven't had any questions yet, but if you, you have any, um, do you send us a tweet? That would be good. Um, we just want to wonder uh, what your experiences of, of being a kind of woman in sport. Do you feel they've been different at all from, uh, from men? Um, having only ever been a woman, um, <laughs> <laughs> but however, the sport that I do partake in is male dominated, um, and growing up. Um, as an athlete, uh, I was always quite strong as a junior, mm -hmm. and I competed a lot in men's teams uh, in my area. And you definitely do have, I would say, a people look at you differently um, in a very positive manner. Right. And I think I've experienced nothing really other than admiration from you know a lot of other guys, especially when you go on court with them and you beat them. Uh, <laughs> at first, okay, it might be a bit challenging for them, but they, yeah, it's uh, it's given me so much to, it's, in my life, it's provided me with so many opportunities that I would never have had. Yeah. And it's great to, you know, to feel confident and to feel strong, and it gives you, a, you know, a feeling of, of belief, you know, self-belief and... Like I said earlier, I just think understanding. You think you understand yourself better, and you don't get free stuff, but it's nice when you do get free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> you do sometimes, but not very. Really. But um, you, yeah, I think that it, it's great, and I just think what what's really great that's come out of also the Olympics recently is the amount of female athletes that are now coming forwards. Yeah. Um, and we're just, I think we're more aware and we're more accepting of female athletes yeah. and, you know, no longer is it um, unheard of to see, you know, a, a woman running or sprinting or, yeah. you know, playing tennis at a high level, like at an aggressive level yeah. as well. And I think it's great. That, you know, I think we should keep pushing for it. I think we really need to keep pushing for women in sport, and we, we're as deserved as men to be in the papers and to be, you know, multi multi millionaires like the guys <laughs> are. <laughs> I mean, Tiger Woods and the football players, and I think women deserve the same. They train as hard, and you know, and they give as much out. And I think you know the rewards we they need to be on the on yeah. a similar level. So you think that the Olympics has made a massive I think it's made some of a difference. Um, I, yeah, I think it's given us an understanding that, you know, with so many, I mean, the Jessica Renaissance, the Kelly Holmes, you know, the, all the Serena Williams, there's so many athletes now that you can look at and in some way identify with one of them. You know, it, whether you're a, a sporty person yourself or not, you can always look to a, an athlete, I would think. And, and find something that you connect with within that athlete. Hopefully the Commonwealth Games this next month, month isn't it? So yes, yeah. hopefully that will continue. Yeah, I hope so. And I, I hope, I would say, Team GB uh, will, will be extremely successful. Because I think living on from the legacy of the Games, if we just keep the momentum going, it can be nothing but good. Yes, absolutely. OK. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you for watching. Um, and don't forget that you can uh, have a look online for the Ready Steady Glasgow uh, resource. So if you ask your leaders, if you're a young member, um, our new guide, um, or if you are a leader, go and look 
on the Girl Guiding website. Um, and you can find out some more information about the, uh, the Dame Kelly Homes Trust is online. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just a quick